the fisherman came to see me. This is how things happened. Three years ago, I was having a listening event, remember Eddie? Yeah. In St. Mary's Ward. In the listening event, as you know, is where the residents come along and they talk about their concerns, they take them on board and try to do something. And all of a sudden, in this hall with all the residents, this door opened and three burly fishermen, <laughs> I didn't know what the fishermen then, but three burly men appeared at the back of the hall. It was the 23rd of March, 2015. So they kept reading this piece of paper and I said, can I help you? Uh, what I'll come to your surgery, I said, this isn't a surgery, this is a listening event. Oh, but never mind, come down and sit in the front. So they came to the front and they gave me this letter. And I asked them, I said, can I read it out to these people here? Yes, yeah. so I read this letter out. And wanted, what they wanted us to do to work with them, to make a memorial here on the fish key to the fishermen and their families, to those who'd lost their lives and to those who are still going out to fish and still pretty dangerous. So we talked in council and we said we would support them to get there to do that. And I have to tell you, they themselves have worked tremendously hard to raise money. And I'm just delighted to say that the council's going to make it happen for you. And well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you having fish and chips on the fish cake. And I was telling her about uh, the danger of the seas and all. She says people, I said to her, people watched all the world as people lost. Oh, right. She says, uh, it is very dangerous, Grandad. So I said to her, all your reports about my motives to lost fishermen. She says, come on, show me yours. Well, I didn't know this. didn't have one. And then she says, you have to do something about this, Grandad. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it started. So we've been on the fundraising trail for, for a long time now. They always helped us along the way, and we had volunteers. But I want to say one thing. I went on television, and we asked for a pound donation from everybody. And the money started rolling in, the people of North Shields. It, it really was absolutely brilliant. And the money that was coming through the post was unbelievable, but there's one thing that sticks out. There's an envelope here that says, Donation to North Shields Fish Key. And <coughs> the story was, we'd done an event in the Red Hackle. And this old woman come up on a walking stick, and she's tapped me on the shoulder, what's this all about, son? I said, it's just trying to get a memorial built for Lost Fisherman. All oh, right, and she walked out again. And it was months later, the landlord of the pub called me in, and he says, uh, come in, I want to talk to you. He said, do you know what about this? I says, well, it's a donation to the North, we're the North Shields Fisherman's Heritage Project. But he said, this old woman's son had came in, and he, she found it, he found this in the woman's to-do list. Oh. What would we do with it? The woman had died. Oh. And, it, and it was very, very emotional for me, because yeah. I'd seen her. Yeah. And she'd left a five pound note in, it was even, oh. it was even oh. stuck. <laughs> I'll give you one more instance of people's generosity. I got a letter in the mail saying, Dear Henry, there is a fiver for you. This is the last fiver I have. Please accept it. I'll do without gas this week. Oh. And my, my, my granddaughter was there at the time and I read it out. I said, look, uh, Courtney, you can't take money off this guy. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a teller in and send it back. Don't you dare, Grandad. <laughs> that woman gave it to you and she wants you to keep it. She says, what you do is write her a nice little letter, thank her. So, two, just two instances. Now, the Fisherman's Memorial, it won't be the Heritage Project's uh, memorial, it'll be ours. The whole people of North Shields for that yes. pounds, yes. for that pennies, for the collection boxes, the raffles. It's the North Shields people that done it, and I thank you all very much. Yeah. <laughs> this name, uh, high flyers, anything like that, what Kraft does, along with men like Brian here. Well, just pure Kraft does, and that energy is shown through in my fundraising. 
we became salesmen, negotiators, and diplomats. I love the right, right, we've got to be diplomats, haven't we? <laughs> um, better than that, we were fishermen once, and we're very proud to do that. So when you spend a lot of time at sea, you become humbled by the beauty of the sea and the power of the sea. You watch it all the time. This past couple of years, we've been humbled by the people, the generosity of the people of North Shields. Every penny, every pound, every hundred pound, every thousand pound, each one of those donations means the world to us and it's made us feel very, very humble. Support, we've had fantastic support from all the public, as, as everybody's seen, as the figures have shown. Local businesses have all chipped in and give a, a few bob. <laughs> um, North Tyneside Council, from day one, from what was the date you said, Norman? 23rd of March 2015. I'll never forget that night. <laughs> <laughs> um, from Graham Sword, Ian and the rest of Norma's team, we've had 100% support from the very, very beginning. So that's why we're here today. That's what's done it. It'll be a credit to all the folks in North Shields. It'll raise the profile of my hometown, where I was born and bred, North Shields. So I'd like to say to everybody, Thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs>